Sorry, it's been a while. Um, I have a stack of books to uh, review and um, I've just been so busy the last few weeks. Anyway, Python Machine Learning, it's um, a packet um, publishing book um, by Sebastian Rashka. I mean, I love machine learning. I think, you know, it's the biggest thing that's happening at the moment. It's it's going to be the only game in town, really. Um, uh, and you know, if you want to get some insight into uh, machine learning and how to apply machine learning using Python and particularly scikit-learn, this is um, a pretty good place to start. It doesn't go into a lot of the theory. It tries to it tries to give enough of the theory for you to understand what you're doing in order to be able to apply it well. If you wanted to delve into the theory a bit more, you'd probably need another book. But it's a very good place to start. Um, what have we got here? Chapter one, giving computers the ability to learn from data. So we have a little brief summary about you know what machine learning actually is. And we talk about um, here in chapter two, um, classification. Chapter three. Yeah, chapter three is quite useful because it goes through scikit-learn and talks about the Python um, library uh, um, and how you can apply machine learning. Uh, and then we have um, chapter chapter four, building good training sets, data pre-processing, obviously, which is a really important part of uh, any um, machine learning um, undertaking. You've got to have you've got to get your data right. Um, Chapter five, compressing data and, and um, dim, yeah, dimensionality reduction, um, very important part of machine learning too. Uh, and this is a very good chapter. It explains things like cross-validation, k-fold cross-validation. And obviously validation when you're um, applying uh, machine learning is extremely important. Um, and so, you know, this is a very useful chapter. Uh, and what else have we got here? Different models for ensemble learning um, and so on. And then it shows you how you can uh, put this into a web application, which is sort of a practical application of it there. Uh, and, um, you know, so on and so forth. Predicting continuous target variables, regression analysis, uh, working with unlabeled data, clustering analysis, um, and training artificial neural networks for image recognition. You know, and uh, I think artificial neural networks are a really interesting area. Um, and there's a, you know, this chapter goes into a little detail on on how to apply them. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's go to chapter two. Um, Training machine learning uh, algorithms for classification, and here we talk about uh, the book talks about artificial uh, neurons, and it talks about step functions, uh, and it gives a, a you know a really nice introduction into how neural networks um, work, how they're applied, um, how um, the weightings are updated, and, and the sort of the iterative process that goes on in order to make neural networks um, accurate and work in terms of. Well, here we can see in linear, linearly separable data. Um, so you get a little bit of uh, you get a little bit of theory, and then you get these pages where you write your, um, or they show you how to write a, um, a, a an algorithm, um, some code that will do what you want it to do. And then this code is applied to various data sets. In this case, there's the Iris data set, which is a quite a famous uh, data set, if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, and so, you know, we look at um, gradient descent and how to sort of, you know, optimize um, these various different functions. And then we you get some code that shows you how to, you know, how to do that in practice. Uh, and, you know, it shows you how to, um, to how to make nice plots. So if you're sort of new to Python, new to machine learning, this is a, you know, a nice, a nice book. If you're looking for something more detailed, then it may not be the book for you. But as an introduction, I would say it's, it's pretty good. And here, chapter three, we go through a um, you know, a list of the various different classifiers and how they work in, in scikit-learn. And if you're going to do machine learning using Python, scikit-learn is a really um, useful library and you will be using it all the time. Um, so it's good to get a start with that. What else did I want to show you? Uh, yeah, here. Um, model evaluation and hyperparameter tuning. This is a really good chapter, actually. Um, I've looked at various different explanations on this uh, in this area for this part of uh, machine learning, you know, validation and, and, and that kind of thing. And, and this really explains it very well. So we talk about K-fold cross-validation, um, you know, which is splitting your data into training and validation sets. Uh, and um, it has a really good explanation on what it is, as you can see. And then it has, you know, ways of um, 
ways of uh, implementing that using Python code. It gives a really good explanation as well, the difference between bias and variance, um, which uh, you know, is a classic question, isn't it, about uh, machine learning. Uh, you know, if you're starting off, and you're bound to be asked a question about the difference between validation and bias. Uh, and you know, it explains it very well. So all in all, you know, if you're a, um, uh, you know, if you're new to machine learning and new to Python, um, then I would really recommend this book. Um, it uh, it's you know aimed at I would say the beginner, but it takes you up to a reasonable level. You know once you've got through this book, you will understand and have you know quite an insight into what machine learning is, um, how it works, and how to apply it, uh, and also you know what you where you need to go to carry on um, learning it. Uh, so uh, that is Python machine learning. Um, I would certainly recommend it, you know, for the group that I've said. Uh, and we, um, you know, we'll be looking at other machine learning uh, books uh, on this channel um, in due course. Uh, but for now, yeah, that's Python machine learning. If you like this review, please um, do click like underneath and, uh, you know, feel free to share it or add comments. Um, and I will get back to you just as soon as I can.